Hello, you're watching Got Space Game and it's time for DCS in 3 or less. Today we're in the Harrier showing how to ripple off APKWS rockets at TOO designated targets. Many thanks to our viewer KeepWalking6401 who requested this video after my basic APKWS tutorial, which I've linked below. We'll be using some control bindings, so as usual, those are listed at the end. Let's get going. Air to ground mode, master arm on. Bring up the stores page. 20A is your weapon selection. And bring the map back. Double tap sensor select depressed to bring up the targeting pod and fire it. Waypoint designate to point roughly at your target area. Sensor select left for narrow field of view. You can zoom further with the MFD control. I'm looking for the shilka that I know to be somewhere behind the beach. That looks like it, it's going to be my first target. Just your gain and contrast to see the targets clearly. Select point track mode. We'll need to be a bit closer to actually get a point track. At about 12 miles it should be possible, so we'll just keep nudging the TGP until we get the log. Had it there for a second but lost it. There it is. Pressing TOO then enter will mark your first target of opportunity. We're also going to target a couple of these radars. You've got to plan the direction of your attack to get all your targets roughly lined up as you won't have much time to switch between them. The other thing to note is that this attack works best against stationary targets as once your first missile hits with a moving target, the others will just move away from the mark points you set. Unsafe the laser and take it out of training mode. On the left MFD, Unbox and then rebox the designate button to switch back to map designation. Now you can cycle between target points using the waypoint increment button. Cycle back to your first target. Now let's get some distance from our target and set up the attack run. Turning onto the target, slow the aircraft down a bit as you get onto the attack heading. Fire the laser. Weapon release. We've now throttled right back so that we don't get too close to the target before the rocket does. Remember these rockets are laser guided so don't be tempted to switch targets until you see an impact. From this distance it can take a good few seconds. One more advanced technique is to fire multiple rockets and then flip between targets after each impact. But that's quite tricky. Shack. Waypoint increment. Turn on target. Fire two. Note that the laser kept firing as I switched between targets. Shack, waypoint increment, turn on target, fire again. We're going to egress while deploying countermeasures. Shack. Throttling up, away we go. Have you got a request for a three minute tutorial? Leave a comment below and ask. Don't forget to hit subscribe for more three minute tutorials every week. I've been Dan, you've been watching DCS in 3 or less from Got Space Game.